Well, hey everybody. Uh, just uh, in the back of the camper here, trying to put some stuff away. I was at an event, uh, and uh, was using a lot of my ham radio gear, um, and just stuff in general. Chairs, it's mast for my radio, my antenna. It all comes down. Telescope. It's a Siemens uh, telescope. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just putting stuff away. I don't know if you guys uh, with camper vans have problems uh, storing stuff, but sometimes I do. I have to come up with uh, original ways to store stuff. Right now these boxes just sit here on the seats. It's no big deal. Um, just has some radio gear in it, batteries, whatever. This is my radio go box. It's the uh, Apache 4400 I got over at Harbor Freights, and uh, it just sits there. Um, but I do have a table that I pull out. That's my solar panel that kind of sits in the window, and it uh, charges the battery, or it keeps the battery charged, I should say. It doesn't charge it. So um, I just plug that in my battery in here, and it keeps the battery charged. Uh... Let's see, I do have a table, well, you know, one of those uh, plastic fold-down tables you can use for whatever. I couldn't figure out a place to put it in here, because there is nowhere to put it. But, I came up with a solution. I don't know if this will help you out out there or not, but uh, there's just enough space here. It's about two inches, two inches or so. And I slide the table up here above the. I can't go any wider, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, here's the uh, storage cabinet above the dinette. Obviously, it's packed up with stuff. The only way I can get this stuff out is I have to fold it down, which which you pull the lever out of there and lever on that side and fold down. But of course. Anyway, the table slides right up there, and I just have a strap hooked up, so, and it stays up there. It uh, hooks, there's enough spot back here for the, uh, for it to hook. <clears throat> Let me get it out of here, it's nice and tight, but it's just, just a loop kind of, normal kind of connector or <laughs> connector kind of a hook and it just hooks on the back here on the wood there's nowhere to hook it to so I don't know maybe that'll help you out maybe it won't but it's just another idea I came up with other than that the chairs we don't use the bathroom that much so we just keep the chairs in the bathroom the bathroom is there for emergencies or something like that, but we tend to go to places that have bathrooms. <laughs> it's just easier that way. So, oh, I did buy one of these things. The ammo can with food in it. It's supposed to be like, I think this is one person for a week or something like that. But it comes in this little handy... Uh, plastic ammo box which is pretty nice and there's a uh, plenty of food in here macaroni and cheese oh no this is a uh, what is this black beans and rice soup uh, mac and cheese maybe a two pack this is a uh, what is this it says two servings but it's, it's got a lot in there. Two packs of that. What's this one? Creamy chicken flavored rice. Uh, home style potato soup. Traveler stew, whatever that is. And Maple Grove oatmeal. 
last one is what is this one? Hmm. Oh, long grain white rice. There it is, right there. Long grain white rice. So, figured you'd have one of these handy for the uh, travels when we don't, you know, you don't plan a, all your meals out or anything like that. I mean, we do have a refrigerator, stove, and microwave, and all that, but sometimes you just want to go and load and go, you know. You don't have to worry about packing up food or going to the store or anything like that. So that's what that's for. And, uh, yeah, so when you finish the food, you got a handy little ammo box. It was, uh, what was it? Well, there's the phone number if you want to check it out. And uh, it's Patriot, oh, here it is. PatriotPantry.com. So, uh, oh, it says average, average 1,500 calories per day for one person. Don't know how many. Oh, it's a one-week supply. <laughs> yeah, they have a two-weeker, a month, whatever, bigger boxes. But it fits right there. And it stays in there, too. It's nice. It's perfect fit right behind the, the stove there. Of course, I don't put it there when I'm cooking regular food because it might melt. But, uh. Yeah, so that works. Um, let's see what else. Move these chairs. Uh, I did go to Walmart and buy a couple of uh, these here. The Mountain House lasagna and let's see one here. Uh, breakfast skillet. So try those out. We did try the, um, oh, what was the one we tried? Um, beef stroganoff. The beef stroganoff. And it was really good. It was amazingly good. All you do is put two cups of water, boiling water in here, put them in the bags, and nine minutes, stir a few times, nine minutes, done. I guess you could put it in a pot. That'll be the next experiment to see how that works. But, uh, yeah, these were pretty good. They're like eight bucks a piece over at Walmart. So, they're good to have if you, you know, it's like one of those, uh, uh I call it no plan, no plan trips. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a wireless camera. So, when the, uh, camper van is sitting out I can watch if something happens which is pretty nice also I've got a uh, now let's see if I can get it to work yeah it's thermometer I just set it right here and it'll pick up so I can see what temperature is inside 74 right now it's gone up to 102 I haven't been in it but I've been watching it anyway just a couple things maybe this will help you out maybe it won't I don't know but uh Happy, uh, happy camping. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you want. Or, or don't. But, uh, anyway, thanks again and uh, have a good day. Good night, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world.